Thanks. I wanted to get started asking about how you became involved in the film, or what really interested you about just the Resident Evil um, franchise in general, and what was that experience like of becoming attached to work on um, this film? Yeah, I got um, I got call. You know, I got a call sort of three years ago saying that would you come meet the Constantine guys, and I didn't really know what it was about at the time, and came in and chatted, and and they they were sort of they you know brought up that they were looking at rebooting the uh resident evil franchise and i'd always been a huge fan i sort of grown up with the games uh and and really the games reflected uh, the love of 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 horror movies you know that i had i i felt i could see in the games themselves and so i was always very fond of the games and then you know, had had a, uh, an affinity with the with the fran with the movie franchise, even though it was a very different thing. It was a sort of sci fi action franchise. Um, but yeah, we we came in, we and we just got on and and chatted, and then you know decided that we were going to be mm -hmm. we would go together and try and reboot this thing. And we didn't really know to start with how we were going to do it. And then just over the course of time, it came clear that we were going to go back to the first two games and really really you know make a horror movie make something scary and 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 fun and 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 um try and try and really tap into to you know go back to to what the fans really wanted and also i wanted to ask about um once you decided on that idea for the film what the experience was like of really working on the script and really developing the plot for their film overall and yeah it, it, it was it, it was it was tricky in in terms of there was just a lot of stuff going on and, and it had to be you know had this big ensemble of all these characters coming together so it was it was a really complicated screenplay to make work but it, it was fun like um it, it there was there was so much lore and so much in, in the whole Resident Evil world that hadn't been explored, that was so much fun to to dig into, like Lisa Trevor and you know, getting into all the old backstories of the characters and really, really um, falling in love with the games in a way that you know, as a gamer, I had never been been so quite deep dive as I was going with the screenplay. So it was good, but it was yeah, it was a complicated tapestry to sort of weave all together. And while you were developing the script and the story, was there any thought um, into really appealing to fans of the movie, the previous movies and the games, and really maybe attracting new audiences overall? And um, what was that experience like of really making it um, like accessible to like general audiences of horror as well as really paying tribute to the franchise? Yeah, I think really for me the big thing was to to um to make something that was scary and i felt if i you know if we were going back to the roots of the game and we were making something that was scary and fun to watch on the big screen you would then be tying together the fans of the game the fans of the previous franchise and and just moviegoers together because that's the one thing i think we all crave as horror movie fans is we just want to we want to watch something that's that 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 you know, we can sit in a big dark room and just be scared the shit out of, and just really get into, and you know, be be. That's it's. it's I crave that feeling so much myself as a as a uh, cinema goer, and so I just felt that that would override everything. So I never felt too much pressure over, you know, stepping away from the previous franchise or or how quite how I was going to adapt the the game franchise. Also, I wanted to ask about directing the film as well and what that experience was like of going from working on the script into directing on set as well. Yeah, it was pretty tough. It was pretty tough because it was bang in the middle of the pandemic. It was exactly a year ago we started filming and, you know, it, it's all shot at night with rain machines, minus 10 in a small town outside um, Toronto. And it was, it was it was cold and wet and and the pandemic you know everybody's in masks and hoods and i didn't know who anybody was it was a pretty <laughs> isolating time you know to try and try and communicate to people and 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 try and make this movie happen but um we we had fun uh but it yeah it was not it was not the easiest thing in the world and speaking also of the location um being in outside of toronto and 
just Ontario in general. And I also want to test about that experience a little more about also really creating the sets and what that experience was like, really figuring out how you wanted to, like where you wanted to shoot and how you wanted the sets to work. Yeah, we, we found this small town about four hours outside Toronto called Sudbury, which is an old mining town. And it just felt so perfectly kind of Stephen King that I just sort of fell in love with it. And I was like, okay, this is great. Um, uh, I really, you know, I really want to, I, I knew that this was going to be the place that my raccoon city was going to be set in because it just felt mm -hmm. so Stephen King. Um, and then, yeah, it was, it was, it was good. You know, it, it was, it was a tough, you know, all night experience and, and, uh it's sort of brutal brutal filming but but it was we built our you know raccoon city in this place and we we had such wonderful opportunity to so we could literally you know take over a section of the city and build well with this town and build like the police station and we built you know the mansion and you know we really went to to extreme details to 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 get the exact specifications of the game and 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 really really lean into the 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 detail of the game. Also, um, I wanted to ask about casting the film as well, and with the like the film being like more an ensemble cast overall. What was that process like of really finding the right actors and actresses for the role? Yeah, it was a pretty lengthy process. I mean, Kaya was first on, and she was she was the first person that I had just seen crawl. I, I know the director very well, and watched Crawl and really liked it and spoke to him and, and just felt that Kaya was just so perfect to play Claire. She looks like Claire. She has that same kind of, uh, you know, tough, funny, gritty mentality that that I just took to straight away. She's just like, no bullshit, you know, just gets on there and, and, and gets on with stuff. And I just felt that really was both her role as a character and it, and it kind of was her role in this movie of of helping us get through this very very tricky movie and then the others you know some of them some of them fell you know looked exactly like their game counterparts and and just you know some wonderful casting of like Robbie as as um uh, as Chris and 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 Tom as Wesker you know and they were just so professional great fun actors with all of them had such great humor and and then you know like Hannah as, as Jill and and as particularly Avon as as uh, Leon do not look like their game characters, but we just I just wanted particularly with Leon I wanted to find someone Leon was my way into the script when I was writing the script and I I, I he has a a really sort of dry funny sense of humor in the movie he's like self deprecating he's he's disheveled he's hungover he's he's like a proper anti hero and I wanted someone that could really carry the humor but not make it a comedy sidekick um and and could actually be a leading man and when Avon came in and read he just blew me away I was just like man this this guy's fantastic so you know you I just went with the people that I that I really believed in you know also um once everyone was cast what was the experience like of getting to work with them and building their characters and also maybe working on the stunts with them as well yeah it was fun you know um my one direction to them was just fall in love with the game understand how important it is to me and then and then that will come through across on screen and uh it, it, we had a great time despite the the sort of you know toughness of the shoot uh, I think particularly, uh, you know, with the stunt side, like Robbie was just amazing. Like he could just, you know, he was just a born like fighter for, for that kind of stuff. And again, with Tom, you know, it's the same, but they were all very good. Uh, they all really got into their action stuff and, and, um, and you know, did it, almost everything themselves. So that they, they were pretty full on crew uh, uh, cast game for anything. <laughs> I think that was mainly it, but thank you again for taking the time out. I appreciate it. Oh, no, it's lovely chatting, Karen. Mm -hmm. Thanks again.